So let's go ahead and get started. Since you're standing, we'll start in a standing. Instead of doing cat cow to warm up, we'll do just some forward folds. So you can either face, uh, you can come to the top of your mat or just face the screen or whatever you want to do. But we'll start with mountain. So lift the toes, spread the toes, set them down. Lift the arches and then rock under the heels and rock to the toes. So get the feet nice and grounded. And then make sure you've got the knees back over ankles and then scoop the hips. So you scoop the hips under, kind of tuck the tail bone down. And that naturally kind of lengthens the spine. Lift up through the chest, keeping the back nice and neutral. Relax the shoulders. So even just arms to the side and then rotate the shoulders out like that. So we've got the palms facing forward, but the whole arm, basically the bend of the arms as well. Lift the chin slightly and then just close the eyes. Start to settle into this pose. Find the strength in this pose. Start to take nice, long, calming breaths. Big inhales, big exhales through the nose. Take about five more of those just to get grounded, just start to feel the awareness of your body. Making sure the top of the thighs are engaged, not locking the knees. And if your eyes are closed, you may be weaving a little bit. That's fine, so try closing the eyes, seeing what not having your eyes open does to your balance. Two more breaths. Really slow it down here. All right, and with the next inhale, sweep the arms up. We'll just ground down, sweep the arms up on your inhale. Then palms together, exhale through heart center. Two more of those, inhaling up, taking nice long breaths. That's awesome. Pause at the top of your breath and then slowly exhale. One more. All right, we're going to start moving here. So inhale up. And then exhale, forward fold, diving forward for the chest leading. Drop the arms, drop the head. We'll bend in the knees here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to standing. Flat back from about halfway up. That helps strengthen the back muscles. And then repeat that. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way back up. So take the gaze up, reaching up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway. You can pull those shoulders back, my flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping all the way up. And you're going to grab your left wrist and shift over to the right. A little stretch here, push the hips to the left. Inhale back up to center, grab the right wrist. Exhale to your left. Inhale back up, grab the left wrist again, and then we're going to just pull it towards kind of like the back, push the hips out. Inhale up, grab the right wrist, pull it to the back. Inhale back up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Okay, so we're going to stay here for just a few minutes. Make sure you've got the the knees kind of slightly bent. 
If you've got a block or something, that's fine. But we're going to inhale, lift to the sky, and then bend your left knee and exhale, reach the right arm up. And so hold this for a couple of breaths here, just a little twist. And then exhale it back down. Inhale, lengthen, get a nice on side. Bend that right knee, and we're going to take the left arm up. And as you inhale, lengthen your spine. Make the exhale twist a little bit deeper. And then exhale it all the way, folding back over. Inhale, all the way back up to standing. And we're going to exhale into chair. First chair. So checking in with chair here. You want to shift the knees back, lower the hips. Make sure you've got a nice flat back. Shoulders nice and wide. Hands are heart center. Okay, keep the breath flowing nice and smooth. Take a big inhale, really widen the chest. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Every exhale, lower just a little bit more. And then now exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way back up. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, make sure right here you're at the top of your mat. Now it's time to top of the mat, you're ready. And start to bend both knees. So your hands are coming down to the mat, and we're going to take the left foot and step back. We'll drop down to the left knee, so we're in just a low lunge here, and bring the chest up. So you can place the hand on the right knee. Make sure the right knee is over the right ankle, okay? You feel stable here. Just start to lower the hips, allow the hips with gravity, so start to relax the muscles just to get a stretch, okay? Okay, and press into the front leg and start to straighten it, flex the heel. Take an inhale, lengthen, and just really gently, just relax the muscles. We're not stretching really hard here at first. Just a gentle stretch as you fold forward. So this should be a kind of a warm-up stretch, not a really deep stretch yet. All right, press back into that front leg and then press up on the back toes. Gaze forward, we're gonna push off of that back foot, bring it up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Really, really stretch, reach your high. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. We'll take the right leg back now. So as far back as you can reach, drop down to that right knee. Bring the hands up to the left knee. Check in, make sure you're over the ankle. Take a big inhale, lift the chest, one of the side, and then just exhale, soften the hips, and allow that stretch. You'll feel that in the back leg, on the top. You may feel a little bit in the hamstrings, really. A lot in the hips as well. Okay, and then hands to the mat. Start to shift your weight back over the back knee, straightening the front leg. Take a big inhale and then just exhale gently. Just go forward, not pushing too hard, not forcing the stretch. In the front leg, and you'll come up on the back toes, gaze forward, press off, come back up, inhale halfway there, exhale fold, inhale, sweep all the way up. You're like a little back bend, so you're all about to pushing your hips forward, reaching back behind you, exhale fold, hands to the mat. 
We're going to take the left foot back and the right foot back. Okay, so we're in a plank. And if you want to take plank on your knees, okay, if your shoulder, elbow, anything hurts, or building strength, you're staying here in a plank. Okay, and take a big inhale, rock forward, so point the toes, and then exhale. We're going to rock back into down dog. So walk the dog out here. In the knees, shift the hips side to side. Make sure that the hands are kind of turned out a little bit, kind of like to the front corners of your mat. So the um, shoulders are rolled away from the ears. Nice long spine. Take a big inhale, come up on your tippy toes. Lifting the tailbone up and then exhale, sink into the heels. Allow the chest to open up a little bit more. Shake your head yes, <laughs> shake it no. Remember, you can say yes or no anytime during the class that you want. All right, so just kind of warming up. You talked about chaturanga. We want to inhale out to fly. Exhale back. Slowly down dog. So let's do three of those. Inhale out. Exhale back. Two more. Last one. Inhale, gaze forward. So nice long neck. Exhale, drop it down. All right, take a breath here. All right, now we're going to inhale out to flight and we'll come to the knees. So we'll start here on the knees. And anytime you want to take the full chaturanga, not on your knees, you can, but I just recommend the first one we always do on our knees. And then after that, it's up to you. It's better to do it modified really well than to sloppy do it um, the hard way. All right. So right here in this modified plank, so you're on the tops of your knees, and if the tops of your feet are pressing into the mat, not your toes flipped under, um, then that's better on your kneecaps. Are you okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to make sure I'm doing it right. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. So in this modified plank, and again, you don't want, it's not the table. You don't want your hips down, but you have this plank position here. And one of the things I always think it's good is to lengthen the neck. I kind of want to look down at my body, but you want to lift the neck here. And so the bends of my elbows are facing forward. So when I bend my elbows, they go back. So take a big inhale, and I'm going to exhale, squeeze the elbows into the thigh. Now the thing is, I want also to do this with my shoulders, but keep my shoulders down away from my ears. I'm going to just bend my elbows and lower. As I exhale, inhale, I am lifting my chest and bending my back. So that's my up dog. And then you come back to your down dog. All right, so let's go through that together. Find the down dog. Get into the pattern of your breath here. Lift the tailbone up. You should feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings. All right, whenever you're ready with your next breath, inhale out to your plank, come to your knees. And here, just take another inhale to lengthen the spine and bring the gaze forward. You love where those shoulders are. Exhale, lower elbows into the side. Pause it there to the bottom of your exhale. And then inhale, opens up the chest. Press the toes down. Exhale, back to down dog. All right, we're going to do one more of those. Whenever you're ready, inhale out to your plank, come into your knees. Another inhale, long spine. Exhale, lower elbows into the thighs, nice wide shoulders. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Okay? All right. 
So are your wrists doing okay in this pose? Yeah. Very right, awesome. So you're building up a lot of strength. That's great. All right. So we're going to go through a little flow series. I said I was going to introduce some new poses to here. So I decide which way would be better to return here. All right. So maybe this way to start with. But all right. So you're going to inhale three leg dog. So you're going to inhale that right leg up. And then let's just set it back down. Inhale the left leg up. Notice how we do that. You wait and kind of shift, open up the shoulders more, and then set it back down. All right, I'm going to get off your wrist here. So next inhale, inhale the right leg up. And then as you exhale, rock forward like you come down into a plank and bring that back leg up, the top leg, the right leg. Steps forward. So we're going to start off with the crescent. So you're going to really ground down that front leg, front foot. Make sure the toes are spread, your arch is lifted, and then you're still on the back toes. So we're coming up into crescent. Okay, so crescent here is very much like your chair. So we come up here. We can even bring hands to heart center. Press off the back leg and we come up to chair. That's what we did in the very first class. We've been doing a lot of that. And then step it back, get your nice and square foot. This is your crescent. Okay? I'm going to show you crescent twist. This is a good one for your balance. So if I inhale my arms up, and remember taking your arm up either this way or this way, but making sure that when you take it up, you don't arch the back. That you keep the back nice and flat. Don't have the hips tucked under. The back knee can be straight or bent if that if your hips are not flexible enough. So take the arms up. That allows the back to be nice and straight. Okay. Lift that chin, gaze forward. All right. So we're going to take a big inhale. Right leg is forward. Okay. So as we inhale, lift the body. We're going to twist to our right. And take the left arm forward, right arm back. So this is a crescent twist. Okay? You really feel how square the hips are here. Keep the hips exactly where they are and bring them back around. Okay? All right. So now we're going to keep the hips where they are. And we're going to drop that back heel back. So your lunge is now a little bit deeper when you drop that left heel back. Let's make sure. And so now let's do a twist here in this warrior one. So we're going to open up. Yeah. So this is a great thing to do when you're in a warrior one. If you don't feel like your hips are square, do this. And then turn the upper body. Keep the hips exactly where they are. And you can see how square your hips are. It's really nice. All right. So we're going to take the arms up. And then we're going to clasp them behind the back. Okay, take a big inhale, open up the chest, and then exhale, we're going to start to go forward. Okay, and then you can even, you got to be careful here when you drop your upper body down that you don't shift the hips out like that. You keep the hips aligned and then just lift the arms up overhead and then drop, drop your head. This is called Humble Warrior. I'm dropping the head like this. Humble Warrior, one of my less favorite poses. <laughs> okay, because I feel like I'm wobbly and out of control, but that's perfectly normal. All right, so we're going to inhale, sweep the arms right back up, coming back up into Warrior One. Open up into your Warrior Two. So remember your Warrior Two, check in front knee over the ankle. And then don't forget the back arm, keep it up as high. So take it up as high as your back arm. Open up the chest, make sure the hips are tucked under. And then now here's the challenging thing, press into the outside of your left foot. So kind of roll that left arch up, press into the outside of the foot. 
really challenging, but it helps a lot with your stability. Okay, we'll go into that peaceful warrior. So we'll flip the front palm over, inhale peaceful. And the back arm can be touching that back calf, or you can wrap it under, around your back like this. This is what we call the bind. Okay, side angle, staying nice and open in this nice flat line. Side angle, right elbow to right knee. Left arm reaches up on a diagonal, take the gaze up at the left palm, which is facing the floor. Really got a nice open chest here. Okay. All right. So take that left arm and reach more over your head, like you're reaching to the wall. Yeah. Feel that nice stretch there. And really start to shift your right hip underneath the left one. This is really stacking your hip. Yeah. Now start to straighten that right leg. Now take the right arm down to the floor and the left arm back up to the ceiling. And you've got your triangle in a nice flat line. Okay. All right. Start to bend the front knee. You'll come back up to your warrior two. All right. Now we're going to take a big inhale, open up the chest. Exhale as you windmill down. Step the right foot back, find your plank. It can be modified. So when you get there, take a big inhale, nice flat shoulders. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the chest for up dog. Exhale, back down dog. Okay, a few breaths here, walk it out. Catch your breath. All right, when you're ready to do the other side. So whenever you're ready with your next inhale, left leg reaches up high. And then exhale, set it to the front. Okay, we're gonna stay up on those right toes. Ground down that left foot really strong. Once the feet are nice and round and the legs start to build the strength and then you can come up. So crescent to this side. Again, hips are square to the front. And if you try to really straighten that back leg, you'll feel the muscles engaging even more. Okay, we're going to inhale the arms up. And we're going to take that twist. So this time, left leg is forward, so left arm goes to the back, right arm to the front. And sweep the back arm down or around. Okay, drop that right ankle down. So you're in your warrior one now. Okay. Arms are up. Now we're going to do that twist again. And when you twist, you naturally pull that right hip forward, that left hip back. Find that position with your hips. And then keep your hips where they are and swing the arms so the upper body turns back to the front, but the hips are still square. So a great way to align your warrior one hips. All right, inhale up, exhale, open up warrior two. So you can turn the back toes out a little if you want to. Just check in. My first check is always front knee. My second check is that back arm is lifted because I want to drop it down. All right, gaze over the front arm. And even here, another one, I told you push into the outside of that back foot. And you may even try tucking your hips under a little bit more. We want to open up our back here. Okay, once you're sure all that going, we'll move on. Flip the front palm over, inhale peaceful. Looks good. This is one where I have to be careful with that front knee and it doesn't move. All right, and whenever you're ready, exhale, left elbow, left knee, to side angle. So you're reaching up on a diagonal, beautiful, beautiful. When you do that, when you get there, really shift that left hip underneath the right. Take the gaze up at the right palm. All right. So start to straighten the front leg. Your hips are nice and stacked. Shoulders stacked, coming into your triangle. Really pressing into both feet evenly. So you've got two 
Strong legs, making that beautiful triangle. Lengthen your spine, nice long spine on your inhale. Okay, start to bend the front leg, coming into your warrior two. When you get here, take one big inhale, opening up the chest. Exhale, the windmill, the hands down to the ground, set the left foot back, find your plank. Take a big inhale in your plank, so you get those shoulders nice and wide. Keep them where they are as you exhale lower, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Okay, walk it out. While I move my walking mat back to its original position. All right. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time. Moving just a little bit faster. I'll have a few less body cues. And I'm going to start to walk you into that warrior three. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. All right, this time though, when we inhale up the three leg dog, I want you to stack your hips. And what I mean is, First thing to do is bend the knee. So the knee's pointing up at the ceiling and your foot's pointing at your booty. And then rotate your hips open. Okay, so what this kind of looks like from the front is I've got square hips here and then I rotate open. So I'm pointing behind. People tend to do this and they're pointing the knee down, but you want the knee up and the foot down in this position. Okay. And again, yours may not be exactly that open. I'm pretty open in the hip. So this is just a nice, and it's a great, and when you get there, really push into that right hand into the mat to get a nice stretch. Really ground the right shoulder, arm into the mat, get that nice stretch. All right, then inhale back up, square hips. Exhale, right foot steps up. We're just going to rise up into crescent. Okay, and then from crescent, we'll take a big inhale and add that twist. Okay, now we're going to windmill both arms or all the way around and come into warrior two. So we kind of skip warrior one, but we drop that heel down to warrior two. Flip the front palm over, one breath, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Pull that right hip underneath. Looks awesome. Now we're going to just take that left arm up, straighten the front leg, right arm comes down. You're in your triangle. Take the gaze up, look up, okay? Now, we talked a little bit about maybe half moon. Half moon, I'll show you if you guys you want to come out and pose for just a second. So half moon, when I'm in my triangle, I start to bend my front leg. My hips are stacked, my shoulders are stacked. I stay stacked and I come up like that, okay? From the side, it looks like, or from the, from the front, it looks like, see how my shoulders are stacked, my hips are stacked, and whew, I come up and I'm stacked. It's really, really challenging. The thing is, when you start, and it's really easy, uh, I don't have my block. If you have a block, like I can take, my, my box of Kleenexes, okay? So, is to walk that hand out and lift and stay lifted, okay? When my shoulders or my hips start to fall, it's really hard to defy gravity and pick them back up. So what you do is you come back to the stack position and you stay stacked and you lift and you kind of baby step your right hand out. So yeah, if you wanna, yeah, so if, yeah. And then once you start to get into it, really flex, it's hard, but you flex that back leg like you're standing on the wall behind you, okay? 
So just kind of play with that. And bend the front leg. So bend, bend low that front leg as you're going up into it. So it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, be like, um, almost like, so I go from triangle, I start to bend the front leg. So it's like I'm in a, a side angle. And then I straighten it. So not until you get that back leg lifted. But yeah, you've got great form here. So look, yeah, you look down at the floor too. This is a balanced one that you want to gaze at the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it's challenging. And this is a, an advanced pose. So I'm just going to play with, let me play with that. Okay. Now, if you come to my aerial yoga class, when we get back in the studio, you will learn the muscle memory for that pose really well. Because using the slings, you've got the slings and you just tip over. And you, yeah. just, and you can do that. But doing it here on the ground, what most people do is, like I said, they do this and they put their hand out, then they try to lift up their hips and their shoulders, and that's hard. But if you stay here like a gingerbread man, you just see how I'm just like a cookie and I tip over. So just kind of like with a little bit of momentum, push that back foot off and lift it up. And keep your gaze at the floor, yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, great, great job. Yeah, and you had awesome form with the shoulders stayed stacked, the hips stay stacked. I mean, coming up, you know, you were a little wobbly, but that's cool. That's you were over halfway there because you you had the shoulders and the hips aligned, so that was awesome. All right, so we're just gonna play with that. So go ahead and let's come back. Let's come back to crescent, okay? Because I want to. That was kind of a, a warm up for the warrior three that I was telling you about. So, okay, so let's come back to crescent, which is just that lunge, hips square to the front. Okay, so I think we've done airplane maybe. So, hands to heart center. Okay, start to shift so that you're shifting forward, like you're on a 45 degree angle. We call this, actually, this is called thunderbolt when you're like, you, this is normal. And then this is Thunderbolt. Okay, so if you bring your hands here and press off with that back leg, lift it up, and then lengthen. Most people are crunched down here, lift up. And you don't have to be very high. You can keep the toes here. Airplane, if we open up so the fronts are out, this is airplane. And again, it's a challenging balance pose. And then just step back. So practice hands to heart center, coming up, center of gravity over that front leg, knees can be a little bit bent, and then maybe bring the thumbs out, palms down, lifting up. Yeah, awesome. So open up that chest, lift that chin up. Always think about keep the heart above the hips in this one. It's not an inversion. All right, step it back. All right, so that's our airplane. All right, so we're going to inhale, take the arms up, okay? And then here, warrior three is, and again, heart above the hips is this. So take the gaze up at your hands, not at the floor. If you take the floor, you'll nose back. Yay! Awesome! Wow! That's great. That is awesome. That is probably one of the hardest warrior poses. I mean, it's probably the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> you get a nice burn here. That's why it's called power. So I'm going to stretch you out. I promise. All right. All right. So let's come back to that lunge. Inhale up. But you want to do those chaturangas. So we're going to exhale down. Step it back. Make your inhale. Exhale lower. Inhale up dog. Exhale back to down dog. All right. A little bit of play on the left side now. Whenever you're ready, take a few deep breaths. Maybe a big inhale and the exhale out the mouth. All right. Getting into the pattern of your breath here. Okay. Inhale the left leg up. Bend the knee and then stack the hips. 
So the knee points up to the ceiling. So that it's the floor behind you. I even like to roll the ankle in this one. Okay. Inhale back up to center, straight leg. And then exhale, set the left leg at the front of the mat. Press both feet into the mat, nice strong legs. Inhale, sweep all the way back up into crescent. All right, we get nice and stable here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, we'll add that twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Challenge is to look back over your left shoulder, still keep your balance here. Okay, we're gonna windmill both arms around to warrior two. Okay, beautiful. Flip the front palm over. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Okay. When you get to side angle, feel like your left feet are nice and grounded. Good position. Shift that left hip underneath the right and start to straighten the front leg and then straightening the arms vertically. So you're stacking the shoulders, arms reaching up. The challenge here is to look up at the top hand. Keep your balance and really use the left hand against the inside of your left leg, the lower, yeah, your left arm to kind of uh, open up your chest. So you should feel nice open chest here. Shoulder stack, hip stack. Okay, now take the gaze back down at the floor. Gaze at the floor. Start to bend the front leg. Feel your shoulder stack, your hip stack. Come up, walk up that back leg a little bit closer. Walk up a little closer. And again, if you want to take playing at boxes or anything like that, come up, up half moon, left side. My wobbly side, so I'm always wobbly on the left side. So close that, so come back. So find that, basically find your warrior two, and then just like you're windmilling down and kicking the back leg up, staying nice and flat. So even do like cookie, just kind of rock. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. No, you're doing fine. What I'm talking about rocking is just doing this. Kind of staying flat like your gingerbread man. But just do a couple of rocks. And make sure that left knee is facing forward. I tend to want to turn mine in also. Yay! Oh, look at you. Sweet. Looks like left side might be your good side. <laughs> that's awesome. Very, very good. Yeah, half, half moon is, is one of my favorites when, when you get it. It's one of those, it's frustrating when you don't, but when you get it, it's like, ah, it's really awesome. All right, coming back down. Okay, we're gonna come back to crescent. So swing that back arm around. So we're in crescent here. Okay, so we're gonna bring hands to heart center first. Okay, find thunderbolt. So it's basically a line from that back heel the top of the head, the diagonal line. Lift that chin, gaze forward, and start to press up. Press back, keep the hips square to the floor. Press up and press back. And then when you feel stable, bring the arms back for airplane. Thumbs out, but opens up the chest. And be careful here. I didn't want to open up the hips, but you really want to keep the hips nice and square. Set it back down. Okay. You're good at this. All right. Arms up. And one of the things is you can have arms up parallel like this, or you can put them together. I don't know if you're old enough to remember Charlie's Angels. <laughs> so you kind of clasp the hands together and have your pointer fingers out. Gaze up. So when you look up, take your gaze up at your hands. Try Warrior Three. Sweet, you're good, you're good. So your balance work is doing awesome. Yay, all right. That is great, that is awesome. All right, so coming back down to that crescent. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Shift the left foot back. Take a big inhale in your flank. Nice wide shoulders. Exhale, lower elbows into the side. Inhale, up dog. 
exhale, stand up. All right, drop down to the knees, open up the knees wide, bring the feet together, big toes touching, and rock back and take a child pose here. Take a few breaths, calmly back down. Now here's a fun twist that I like to do. So there's a pose, I'll bring this down since we're on the floor now, called um, puppy pose. So, you know, child pose, sitting back like this. Puppy pose, bring the knees up and then walk the hands out and put the forehead on the ground. Now you can bend the arms and have the arms like this nice and bent. Or if you press the palms in, as you can see, this is a nice deep shoulder stretch. So if your shoulders and elbows will allow this, and even, yeah, open the knees up, that hips width apart. This is a really nice deep, not just the, not the joint, but really the lats here. It's a nice shoulder. So if your shoulders are really sore, I love this one. Okay. Take a few deep breaths here. Okay, we're gonna press in with the right hand and take the left hand and thread it underneath. This is just thread the needle. And so your left cheek should be on the mat or your left ear, left shoulder. And then yeah, your hips are still nice and square. Press into that right hand, bring the left hand back. Now we're going to take the right hand, thread it underneath the left. All right, come back to the middle. Okay. Now we're going to just rock out to our belly, come down to our belly. Okay. And this is gonna be our little back bend for the day. That we're gonna do. Have we done Lotus before? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, Lotus is kind of fun. I like, there's several variations of Lotus you can do, okay? So this, just laying here with your hips down, and your legs up, and you can even bring your feet wide, you know, mat width apart, but make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulder. This is called a uh, sphinx pose. So if you can mention, remember the uh, ancient uh, sphinx, this looks like the sphinx here. Okay, and this is just a gentle back stretch, okay? All right, so we're going to walk the hands down. Okay, the first variation of lotus is to put the hands down beside the body, palms down. So see how my chest is open here, okay? And so start off with your forehead and then you start to lengthen your neck. So you're not looking up like a turtle. Your gaze is just slightly forward and your shoulders are up, okay? So the palms are down. So pressing the palms into the mat allows you to lift up your shoulders. So just the upper body's coming up here. Okay, take a deep breath, lift as high as you can, and then exhale, forehead to the mat. Relax everything. Okay, so next we're going to start to lengthen the spine, lift up the head, and we lift up the arms and the feet or legs. Okay, so the arms are lifting. Okay, so for three, you got this, lift a little higher, two, last one, 
and release and put your right cheek to the ground now and bend your legs at the knees and just windshield your feet side to side. Okay, let them go back down. All right, forehead back to mat. Bring the arms out into a T. All right, so whenever you're ready, next big inhale, we're just gonna lift up with both, just like the lotus, except now our arms are out in the T. For three, two, lift, 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 last one, and one. Now left cheek to the mat, bend the knees, windshield wipe with the legs. Okay. Next thing you want to do is take the arms out in front. Okay, so palms are down. So just gaze no further forward than your elbows for right now. All right, so whenever you're ready, you want to lift up and then you can swim. <laughs> we call this Superman. For three, you can swim it. Two, and one, and release, okay? All right, so bend your left arm and just lay your left side of your face on your left arm. Reach back with your right hand, grab the inside of your right foot, so bend the right leg here. So notice how if you reach back with your thumb up, your chest is nice and open. And then just press in, lift up, so you press down with that left elbow. Okay, if you want to take the right left arm straight out, you can lift the left leg. And then let it back down. Release that. Take the right arm, bend it, bend the left leg, left hand reaches back. Stretch up. So really kick into that left foot, pull that left arm back. Right arm forward. And release. All right, last one. This is fun. Bend both legs, forehead on the ground. Take both hands, and I kind of have to rock to get my arms back. And you can open up your knees wider and then just press, lift the knees, lift the chest. This is a great back bend. And release, release the legs, widen the legs and press back and find the child's pose. Really round that low back, not arch it, but just round it. You may even walk the knees together and get a little bit more rounded child's pose here. All right, press up and we're gonna rock around, bring the legs around. We'll do a quick boat pose for our abs, okay? And uh, the, I took you through, I guess, five variations of lotus, but basically lotus is just, everything is lifting up. Typically lotus is with your arms back. We add Superman on with our arms out or arms up, just, as a little extra uh, kind of fun play, but the lotus bed is that building those back muscles up, strengthening the back, lifting everything up. Because you have to contract the back muscles to lift everything up. So it really is intense. <laughs> so, yeah, but you did awesome. All right, so coming around now. Why my mat? My mat is camera shy, I have to walk away. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna, Come to a boat pose. And today for the boat, so we'll sit up tall, first step, sit up nice and tall. Okay, lift the chest so you've got a nice flat back, start to lean back, hold the backs of the legs, 
Walk the feet back until they float. And then right here, check in and make sure the back's still nice and flat. Okay, and then squeeze the knees into the chest and let go. Bring the arms up here. Legs up are optional. Okay, so feel where the balance is in your hips. Take a big inhale, lift in your spine, and then exhale. We're just lowering, and the only thing is touching is that point on your hip. So this is canoe. I'm hovering back up to boat. And canoe. Really engage the abs. You're kind of curling your body like a banana. Back up to boat. And canoe for the last time. And let it go. All right, nice long body stretch. All right, okay, so here I'm gonna get in some good spinal twist and some hip stretches. So we'll do our pigeon on our back. So go ahead, walk the feet in, okay, so that you can kind of touch your ankles. And right here, lift your hips and really press that low back into the mat. So we're not lifting up and arching our low back. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. So just when you cross it over, take a deep breath here and relax that right leg. Let that right hip go. Allow that right knee just to fall over so you're not pushing it over. You're just relaxing it. You're letting it go. It's just completely relaxed on that left knee. Take a deep, deep breath. Ground down into the mat. You start to lift the left leg towards the chest. You should feel a nice stretch and that right hamstring, kind of the outer hip, depending on how open your hip is. Make sure your right foot is flexed. And if you want this to be deeper, more intense, just straighten your left leg and that weight shifts more over. Yeah, so it just adds, changes the center of gravity. So keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Not gonna stretch out, the, or not gonna stress the shoulders by pulling on that leg. All right, then that left leg. And then this time we will take the right leg in, just cuddle it. So we're just gonna hug it with the right arm. Just for a couple of breaths. But again, be gentle here. We're not stressing the shoulders. All right, set that left foot down on the ground, open up the arms into a T. Nice deep breath. Exhale, rock the legs over to your left. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. And just breathe deeply. So every inhale, Think about lengthening the shoulder, pulling your hips away from the shoulders, lengthening the spine, not lengthening the shoulders, lengthening the spine. And then as you exhale, can you soften and relax the hips and the legs? You may feel just little micro movements when you breathe and do this. So as you lengthen on an inhale, Relax on an exhale. You may notice the stretch goes a little bit further. Or maybe not. Maybe you've reached your limit. That's fine. Just relax into it. Just two more breaths. And then inhale it back up to center. Uncross the legs, set both feet down, press the hips up like a bridge. 
And then exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Low back flat into the mat. Cross the left leg over the right knee. Flex that left foot. And then just relax that leg. Just let that left leg hang out here. Open up the palms so you're relaxing the shoulders whenever you're ready. Lift that right leg up, flexing that. So do this for a few breaths. And whenever you feel like you've kind of settled into it, you can start to straighten that right leg. Few breaths here. And then bend the right leg, hug the left knee in. All right, release the leg, set the right foot down. Arms open up to a T, nice wide shoulders. Take a big inhale, nice open lungs. Long spine, as you exhale, the legs over to your right now, gaze over your left shoulder. And again, you're not going all the way in one move. You wanna inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, relax. Two more breaths. Next inhale, rock back to center. Uncross both legs, rock the knees into the chest and just rock side to side here. Okay, and then set the feet up or lift the feet up like you're standing on the floor. And when you get there, just start to widen the knees out, take the knees apart, grab the outsides of your feet. And so that the elbows or uh, knees are to the outside of your elbows. Happy baby, just rock side to side, massage out the back, especially the low back, mid back. If your back sore, do a great massage. And then peace fingers around the big toes. Start to straighten the legs out, press into the heels. And I like to keep rocking side to side, just feels nice. And then take a big inhale, lengthen the spine as much as you can, really pressing into the heels. And then as you exhale, can you pretend your arms are so heavy, you're still holding on to the toes, but your arms are so heavy, they're pulling the, the legs more open. So this is a nice inner thigh stretch here. So breathe into this one, meaning breathe and everything extends. And then as you exhale, everything relaxes. Two more breaths, that's about as deep as we can go. And then bend the knees, bring the legs in, cross the ankles, tuck the chin to your chest, rock side to side. And then start to rock front to back. Then come up to seated. Okay, so we're going to cross, we'll have one leg bent and cross the other leg over that. And when you get there, then press up and so that you're seated. So kind of the legs, I don't know if you can see with my black pants, but like that. 
and then squeeze that knee into your chest. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then we're going to, if that's your right knee in front, then you're going to just turn to that side and inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, twist. Okay, come back to here, and other way. And come back to center. Now this is kind of a fun thing to do. So you're staying crossed here. So I've got my right leg crossed over in front. So I'm gonna to go to my left. I'm gonna press into my hands, keep my feet exactly where they are, and turn and roll around. <laughs> it's kind of a fun, fun thing to do. It messes with the brain. So yeah, go that way and then just start to turn. Yay! Exactly. Awesome. All right. So again, press in, get the hip bones nice and square, cross that top leg up, big inhale, set up tall whenever you're ready. Hug that knee in and twist around. And then a counter twist back. Okay. And then come back to center. Uncross the legs and we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. Well, first we'll bring them in close, rock side to side and hold the feet, soles of the feet together. Take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall. Lift that chest, lower those shoulders and then just exhale. Just an inch forward, you should feel a stretch on the inside of the thighs here. And again, allow those inner thighs to relax here. Okay, release that and open up the feet so it's kind of like a diamond. Sit up nice and tall and then just start to rock forward, but then start to curl the low back, the mid back, shoulders over. Your arms can be on the, the calves or outside. Drop the head here and really get a nice stretch, low back and the outside of your hips. Gently rock all the way up one vertebra at a time. Coming up to seated, I'm gonna cross the legs, just comfortably seated. And again, I'm gonna let you, as I've always been doing with this home <laughs> Zoom practice, allow you to take your savasana, uh, your hot shower, however you, know, you want to chill after your practice, but kind of feeling in the practice, taking at least three minutes to just be really still, and just feel the body, feel the difference. Feel like, you know, do I feel a little sore because I worked out something new or do I feel like a little more stretched out, you know, from, from the hard work that you did uh, moving tree limbs and stuff. So just focusing on the body, the good, the bad, just an awareness of the body so that the awareness of the body kind of blocks out everything going on in the mind. We all need that mental vacation. So I encourage you to take a three minute vacation. So I'm bringing my hands together, heart center. Thanking you for coming today. It's so wonderful to practice with you. I enjoy seeing you every week. I miss you when you're not here and I'm glad everything's okay and getting better. And so I just show my gratitude for you and for Jennifer who allows us to do this. Hey Jennifer, namaste. Hey Judson in the background.